Welcome to the Noble Network Virtual College Fair. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're excited to have all of you here. Before we get started with our presentation, just a few quick housekeeping items to go over. The first is that uh, attendees are welcome and certainly encouraged to ask questions to any of the panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. You can pose your question to a specific panelist or you can ask a general question to any and all the panelists. And there's no need to hold your questions until the end. You can ask them throughout the presentations. Also, just a reminder, your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. There are additional sessions today, so if you haven't signed up for those yet, please do so. And about one week from today, a recording of the session will be available on that same registration website. Before we get started with our presentations, just take a quick minute or two and uh, listen to an introduction from some of the folks in the Noble Network. Welcome Noble Juniors to our first ever virtual college fair. My name is Dr. Aide Acosta, and I have the honor of serving as Chief College Officer of Noble. And I am thrilled to welcome you to this incredible event. We have over 3,000 juniors from our 17 schools across the city attending the fair today. Although we usually have this college fair in person, we have pivoted to ensure we can provide a safe and exciting virtual fair for all of our students and the more than 150 colleges in attendance. We have with us representatives from some great colleges and universities. I'll give you a few. My alma mater, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Gettysburg College, UIC, Dickinson College, the College of Worcester, the University of Michigan, and a number of HBCUs, including Tennessee State University, Wiley College, and Harris Stowe State University. At Noble, our vision is to ensure that all students have equitable and positive school experiences that equip them to succeed on the path of their choice. Leading to 75% of alumni completing college. Today is another step on your path to success. This is a unique opportunity to hear directly from college reps and learn why they might be a good fit for you. Ask questions, be engaged, have fun, have a great day, enjoy your sessions, and be noble. Hi, Noble Juniors. My name is Miss Metz and I am the head of schools. When I was a principal, one of my favorite events in any school year was the Network College Fair. My wish for you is that when you're meeting with reps, that you ask curious questions and you remember mentally that you are not the only one interviewing in that conversation. Certainly they are getting to understand you a little bit, but you are also interviewing them. You wanna make sure that you make a decision about your life after Noble that feels good to you. So be yourself, listen, be proud of your story, be proud of your family, be proud of your community, be proud that you live in Chicago and just be yourself. And I hope that you enjoy it and that you take full advantage of this incredible opportunity that Noble is providing you. Have fun. Hey, Noble Juniors. I am so excited to see you. I am Miss Jennifer Reed Davis, also known as Miss Reed, and I get the pleasure to serve as Noble's Chief Equity Officer. I am so excited for today for Noble to host our very first virtual college fair for our most special group of students, our juniors. I love you all. I'm so excited for you all today. I know that this day seemed like it never would get here, right? The idea of engaging and talking to our college admissions officers from all across the country because they want you, noble students, to be in their campuses. That's a big deal. I remember being a junior in high school, which was not that long ago because I am still very young. And I can recall just the anxiety and the nervousness and the energy all that surrounded this idea of applying to college and figuring out where I should be. 
And yet, I just want you to know that you should trust the process. Trust your college team, your college advisors, your school, your principal. Trust your parents, your family, the people that love you. And know that if you listen and lean in on your support system, it's all going to work out. All of the hard work that you have done so far, it's going to pay off. I believe that college really and truly is an option for each and every one of you. Your dreams are not too big. As a matter of fact, they're not big enough. So just know that we are cheering you on. We're rooting you on. We love you. Go get them. Bye, juniors. And without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to our first presenter, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, give me one second here as I pull up my slideshow. All right, perfect. Well, again, my name is Jonathan Vajasija. I'm a regional admissions representative for Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Um, today is also joining me my colleague, Rachel Jackson, um, for all you juniors moving forward, if SIU ends up being a school that you're interested in, you're either going to be talking to me or talking to Rachel during your application process. So again, at the end, I'll provide my contact information. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help you out. Let's go ahead and talk about SIU. So uh, for most of you that don't know, SIU Carbondale is a four-year public state university. We're located in the city of Carbondale, which is about five hours and 20 minutes away from Chicago. I promise you there's no cornfields, right? Um, it's actually in the heart of a national park, lakes, rivers, and valleys. It's a rural setting. And the city itself is very interconnected with the university. Um, naturally, the city has a huge, huge um, kind of follow, uh, exposure to um, creative. So there's a lot of music, art, performance, bands, and things of that sort. So if you're a creative, you're going to definitely, definitely love what not only SIU has to offer, but the city of Carbondale as well. And let's talk about the university a little bit more specifically. Again, we're a four-year public state university. Um, I would consider us a, a mid-side school of about 12,000 students. Um, we do offer over 200 majors. So if you're interested in double majoring, picking up a minor, we definitely, definitely allow you to do that. And we even offer master's, uh, PhD programs. We have our own school of law and our own school of medicine. One of the particular things that we do at SIU is that we offer a dynamic learning experience through our research opportunities. So if you're interested in, let's say, for example, you're doing the sciences and you want to get in the lab for your first year and work with a professor, um, you're able to do that. We'll, we'll actually pay you um, as a part-time uh, undergraduate assistant. So again, there's a lot of opportunities not only to get a degree at SIU, but also to put some of these methods uh, through uh, to practice uh, by actually having some hands-on experience. Um, coming from the city of Chicago, I am originally from Chicago. I attend the SIU. Um, obviously, you know, you're thinking, okay, this place is five hours away. How am I going to be able to get over there? Um, and how does that all work? So just remember that you're allowed to bring your car freshman year. You also have access via the Amtrak that leaves from Chicago, takes you straight down to Carbondale. Um, and then also you'll have access to charter buses. Once you're in Carbondale, you'll have access to the public mass transit system, similar to the CTA, and it'll get you all around town, all around the dorm rooms, and really all over campus. Um, yes, we. by the way, we do offer housing. Remember, it is mandatory for all freshmen to stay on campus just your first year. Dorm rooms, as you can see, uh, you know, come fully furnished, Wi-Fi and cable, AC and heated, no commuter, uh, no commuter bathrooms. You only share the bathroom in one other room. And you also do have access to an unlimited uh, meal plan, which means you can literally eat as many times as you want a day. And it is a buffet style. I promise you the food is good. Now, if I have any students who are interested or fans of sports, we are D1, right? We're the Salukis, that's our thing. Go dogs, you know, bleed maroon. You see I'm wearing my maroon track jacket today. So we're really, really big on school spirit, whether you're an athlete or you wanna participate, just know you will have that opportunity. Um, we are also really big on getting you to maybe explore and be a part of other things outside your major. So just know that we offer over 300 registered student organizations. As you can see here, we have Greek life, uh, fraternity, sororities, professional, religious-based, academic. We understand that 
Uh, students come with all types of interests and we offer students the opportunity to explore those interests, whether it's through their major or through these other organizations that kind of complement your experience at SIU Carbondale. Um, other things I do want you to bear aware of, um, if you're interested in studying abroad, 44 programs in 57 different countries. Um, we have an honors program as well. When it comes to job placement, we help our students starting freshman year to put some of those things like interviews um, and get in front of future employers um, as early as your freshman year through our career center. And we have a student multicultural resource center as well. We do understand that students come from different walks of life. So, you know, we have uh, the Latino Resource Center, the Black Resource Center, LGBTQ+, Women's Resource Center, First Generation Center, and Disability Support Services. So, again, we understand that students need different accommodations. And at SIU, we try to do our best to be able to provide you with those uh, opportunities. Um, here's just a general overview of the cost of SIU, um, you know, per year, including your room, uh, your housing, your meal plan, everything, right? It's about $25,526 for the whole year. And this is the sticker price. So this is before financial aid and scholarships kick in. I promise that if you work with me or Rachel moving forward, we'll be able to break this down for you as it pertains to your family or your situation specifically. But I do always want you all to just kind of get an idea of what to expect. Um, when it comes to scholarships, which I understand is a huge, huge deal, we offer tons of merit-based scholarships. We also have scholarships based on the GPA. So as you can see here, the higher GPA is, the more money you'll be able to get, okay? If you have a 3.8 GPA, you will be able to also interview for the full ride. So before we go ahead and finish up here, just remember, um, if you are interested in SIU, application opens June 1st. Where test optional, 2.75 GPA unweighted, get you in automatically. And really, all, the only thing we'll need from you are your transcripts and your application fee waiver to make a decision. Regardless, if you have any questions or any concerns, reach out to me directly, uh, email me, text me, drop your questions in the chat. We're here to help you. And again, thank you for your time. Happy Friday, and good luck in the rest of your senior, uh, the rest of your junior year. Thank you. Thank you very much, SIU Carbondale. Uh, just a quick reminder for any attendees who recently joined us, please do feel free to ask any questions you may have at any time for any of the schools via the Q&A feature. But up next, we're going to move to Northern Illinois University. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Lupe Flores, and I am a freshman admissions counselor at Northern Illinois University. So I'm pulling this up really quick. All right, so NIU is located in DeKalb, Illinois, so about an hour, 20 minutes from Chicago, so 65 miles west, uh, so not super far, but also close enough where you can easily go back home. Um, so I usually like to start off with our mission and values at NIU because I think this, this is really important for all of you to consider your own mission and your own values when you are looking at different colleges and universities. So the mission of Northern Illinois University is to empower students through educational excellence and experiential learning as we pursue knowledge, share research and artistry, and engage communities for the benefit of the region, state, nation, and world. World. So our values in fulfilling our mission are curiosity and creativity, equity and inclusion, ethics and integrity, and service and stewardship. So you'll kind of see examples of this throughout. Um, so starting off with the fast facts, our president is Dr. Lisa C. Freeman, super friendly person. She was appointed back in 2018 and has been an excellent leader, especially throughout this pandemic. Uh, we have about 17,000 students here at NIU, and I know that sounds like a really big number, but when you really think about it and put it into perspective, I think we have more of a mid mid-sized school feel. Uh, we have a student to faculty ratio of 16 to 1. Um, have a bunch of alumni, so we have a huge alumni network. Right off the bat, you'll have so many awesome connections. Our alumni love to give back, whether it be in form of mentorship, they love to come and sit on different panels, connect to students to different opportunities, such as internships and jobs. And also they have set up a lot of scholarship opportunities. So this just goes to show that you're not just a Husky for four years, you're a Husky for life. 
So as I was mentioning earlier, uh, we have more of that mid-size school feel. So you'll still be able to have that one-on-one -on -one attention with your professor if you need it. Um, all of our professors are required to have office hours and our average class size is about 24 students. Kind of depends on the academic program that you're getting into, um, but this could be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending again on your academic program. I have a bunch of different scholarship opportunities, one of those being automatic, automatic merit scholarships, which those are based off of your GPA. Um, and then we also have something called My Scholarships here at NIU. So when you are admitted, you have the opportunity to apply for a bunch of different scholarships all at one time using the My Scholarships tool on our website. We have about 75 countries where our students are studying abroad. So if you love to learn about different cultures, learn about different people, I highly encourage you to check this out. Um, I know this was one of my biggest regrets that I didn't take advantage of in college. And definitely, if you are interested in the least bit, I encourage you to check it out. We have Division I Athletics, 16 men's and women's sports, and we are part of the Mid-American Conference. We have such big school spirit here. Uh, so any student that wants to go to any of the basketball games, football games, soccer games, anything like that, you get in at no additional cost. All you need is your student ID. We have about 3,000 student employment opportunities. So if you're looking to work while you're in college, I highly encourage you to start here uh, with the jobs that we have on campus for students because they're super flexible with the student schedule. Uh, so here you'll see a breakdown of our fall 2020 student profile. I think this is really important when you're uh, considering different colleges and universities. So I think uh, something that is great about NIU is that not only do we have a pretty diverse student population, but we also have a lot of great resources to support students. So whatever it is that you want to do, not only while you're here, but also after. So once you are ready to graduate, we want to make sure that you're prepared to take those next steps, whether it be directly going into the workforce, going into graduate school, medical school, we want to be here to support you. So I mentioned that we have a lot of great supports in place and we have all of these great resource centers. So the Asian American Center, the Center for Black Studies, Disability Resource Center, the Latino Resource Center, Gender and Sexuality Resource Center, Military and Post-Traditional Student Services, and Undocumented Student Support. So whatever it is that you uh, want to go in, whether you identify with any of these communities or you just want to learn more, they have a lot of great programming. So I have more than 100 areas of study in our six undergraduate colleges. Some of our most popular programs are engineering, education, math, and business. So as you can see here, we have a lot of uh, options for you. We have over 320 student-led organizations. So anything from Greek life, social life, service, academic. I think this is really important for you to not only make connections with other students on campus, but other students all over the country, even um, other professionals all over the place. So uh, we have a test-free admission process. So we are no longer looking at your ACT or SAT, completely test-free. Um, we also have those automatic merit scholarships that are also test-free, all based off of your GPA. And then we also have the Husky Pledge, which covers the cost of uh, your tuition and some of those general fees. I encourage you to scan that QR code that you're seeing on the screen now, just because that, that way you can connect with your admissions counselor. We do have a few different um, counselors that are covering the city of Chicago right now. So I do encourage you to connect with us if you have any questions, if there's anything that we can support you with. So I also invite you to connect with us via social media. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you wanna get a taste of what it's like to be a Husky at NIU, I really encourage you to check out the Huskies of NIU on Instagram. It follows a student throughout their week um, here at school. So you'll be able to see what kind of things they're involved in. Thank you so much and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you very much, NIU. Um, now we're going to move to SIU Edwardsville. Hello, everybody. Sorry, it took me a second to get everything arranged there, uh, but let's launch into it. Um, we are Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. We are a mid-sized university with about 13,000 students from 42 different states and 57 different countries. We have an average class size of 21 and we have a 15 to one student faculty ratio. We're only about 25 minutes from downtown St. Louis and about maybe four hours uh, south of Chicago. And we are constantly investing in our campus with over $300 million in campus improvements. We are also ranked among 2020 safest college campuses in America and number nine in the nation and number two in Illinois. Our 353 different areas of study are broken down into seven colleges. That is our College of Arts and Sciences, 
our schools of business, education, health, and human behavior, engineering, dental medicine, nursing, and pharmacy. We have 127 different undergraduate majors, 64 minors, and 11 pre-professional programs. And what that's going to look like is uh, basically an advising track that prepares you for success in taking the requisite tests to get into professional school. For example, if you're pre-law, you might major in something like philosophy or political science to prepare you for the LSAT. The same goes for med school and the MCAT and the GRE for other professional schools. Now, in order to apply to SIUB, you just need to fill out an application at siub.edu slash apply. Um, you'll submit your $40 application fee and your official high school transcripts. It also should be noted that we are test blind through fall 2022, so you can submit your tests, but we will only consider them if they help you. You can see our high school recommended course pattern to set you up for success at SAUB. Our priority deadline for admission is December 1st, 2021 for the fall of 2022, uh, and our final deadline is May 1st. Now, paying for college. Uh, fortunately for you, SIUE is one of America's best value colleges. Um, our tuition as of 2020, 2021 was 9,123. Can't expect it to go up much further than that for 2022. Um, and our total cost is what you're gonna really wanna look at, which is 22,100. And that includes your tuition, your general student fees, which include a textbook rental service. So you don't have to worry about buying and selling your textbooks uh, and your room and board for a shared freshman residence hall. Now, if you have any questions about that, my colleague Christina, who is also here with me, and I'm so sorry I forgot to introduce you at the beginning, will be answering questions in the chat about that. Now, we offer a ton of awesome uh, freshman awards, and I'm going to go through them real quick because I've only got about four minutes left. So we have a Meridian Scholarship. This is our full ride scholarship. It does require a supplemental profile, which includes a writing sample. You can submit that at saue.edu slash Meridian if you are qualified for it. And that is all freshmen with a 3.5 GPA or above. Now included in that 3.5 GPA is our automatic Cougar Pride Scholarship, which you'll see second here. That's 16,000 over four years. And I say automatic because if you have a 3.5 GPA, you get this scholarship, congrats. If you have a 3.0 or higher, you will receive 12,000 over four years for our smaller tier Cooper Pride Scholarship. We also offer a Janetta Haley Scholarship, which is up to 8,000 over four years for those with a minimum 3.0 GPA. And this is designed to support the enrollment of students who are underrepresented in their anticipated field of study. For example, women in engineering. We also do offer some non-merit-based scholarships that are needs-based. That's our SAUE grant, which is up to 4,000 per academic year based on need, and our SAUE commitment, which is a very exciting program that uh, I love, where SAUE commits to covering the tuition, mandatory fees, and course fees after applying all of your other aid to close the gap for families with income less than 63,575 and assets less than 50,000 based on the submitted FAFSA. Now, there's a ton of great things to do at our university, but of course, academics comes first at SAUE, and you can find that in no better place than our undergraduate research and creative activities program that we call IRCA. You can lead your own research project or serve as a research assistant for one of our professors, uh, working closely with a faculty mentor to earn awards, stipends, and even course credit for this. Um, you can check out more at saub.edu slash IRCA, but this is just a really good example of SAUB coming to students where they are. We want to do the research you want to do. We're a teaching university, and we want to make sure that you are getting the best experience out of SAUB that you could possibly get. We also offer an honors program. This is an exclusive curriculum uh, with some high achieving scholars and faculty advisors uh, and also offers priority registration. You can check out the eligibility requirements at that website down there. Now, we offer a ton of study abroad opportunities, with hundreds of different opportunities. These one to six week ops, full semester, summer, year, intensive study programs. Uh, obviously, this has been a little bit postponed right now, but as soon as things get back in the swing, um, these will be available again to our students once it is safe for them to travel. But if you can't leave campus, life is still good on campus. We have our Arts and Issues series, which is sort of like an SAUE version of a TED Talk. Lots of different fields uh, participate in this lecture series. We have a student fitness center designed to accommodate far more students than we have, so there's always room there. We have a campus activities board, which is responsible for things like homecoming, stand-up comedians in the Morris University Center, uh, events on the quad, uh, various events around campus. We also have a brand new esports arena. And if you want any questions answered about esports in at the collegiate level, please leave them in the chat. I will be more than happy to answer those for you. You can see this pictured here in our in our uh, slideshow here. We have intramural and club sports, 50 different sports, including our esports to participate in, fraternities and sororities, 30, more, 30 or more of those, and theater and dance productions. I'm speeding up because we got 30 seconds. We're Division I athletics. We have 20 plus teams in Division I. 
Living in Edwardsville is fantastic. It is a vibrant student-friendly community with tons of shops, restaurants, and recreational activities to participate in. Also, we're only 15, 20 minutes away from St. Louis. There are a ton of student resources. If anything on here strikes your interest, please let me know and we can answer any questions that you have about that. Um, from anything from our access to our SOAR program, to safe zone certification, to ITS, anything like that. SIUB is very comfortable to live at. Uh, we have three different freshman dorms uh, and all of our apartments are suite style. You can find out a bunch of ways to check us out at siub.edu slash visit. And I will swing it back around because it looks like I'm out of time, but we are here to help. So leave your questions in the chat. Thank you very much, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. And thank you to all of our attendees for keeping the Q&As coming in. Uh, please do feel free to keep, away, keep asking away any questions you may have. Um, up next is Wiley College. Okay, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great morning-ish afternoon. Um, let me share my screen really quick. Is it sharing? Can you guys see it? Yes, we can. Awesome, okay. I will get into this video and I will get on the information for Wiley really quickly. Wiley College, founded in 1873 in Marshall, Texas, is a historically Black, primarily liberal arts, residential, co-educational, baccalaureate degree-granting institution affiliated with the United Methodist Church. For over 147 years, Wiley has offered educational opportunities to the citizens of Texas, the nation, and the world. Our spirit remains vibrant in the face of remarkable social change, global terrorism, economic strife, and adversity. We are scholars, debaters, activists, athletes, vocalists, but above all, we are leaders. The beacon light that is Wally College will shine forth for generations to come. The insightful vision of years past that made Wally College a preeminent Black college in the South is alive and well. Share your knowledge and skills. Don't keep them to yourself. Challenge yourself and your peers on a daily basis. Embrace one another's passion for the social good, leadership, education, communities, policies, and practice. Absorb everything, and above all, have fun. We welcome you to Wally College. Go forth, inspire, glorious deeds to do. Pretty cool, right? Um, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm actually an alum of Wiley College from 2019. Um, so I'm a very proud advocate. I've been an admissions counselor for two years now. Um, Wiley College has been around uh, since 1873. So we've been educating students for about 170, 150 years now. Um, we are a private four-year liberal arts institution affiliated with the United Methodist Church. Um, our current president is Herman J. Felton. He started his presidency in 2018 and has made drastic changes to our campus. Um, our colors are purple and white. Our mascot is the Wildcat. And our tuition is $17,500 per year. Now, we are located in Marshall, Texas. So that's way, way, way far from you guys. However, we do not charge out-of-state fees. So this is what you will pay. Um, also, on top of that, this is also the cost of attendance. So this is including your room, your board, um, the meals, any textbooks you need for whatever your major will decide to be. Um, and of course, uh, we do have scholarship opportunities available. We are a member of the United Negro College Fund, um, which is basically a organization that helps 
facilitate scholarships, internships, fellowships as well. Um, we've had students win a bunch of scholarships coming into Wiley, also while they're here at Wiley. Um, so there's a, tons of opportunities there. I believe they start off at about a 2.5 GPA. Uh, we also have a, president, a presidential scholarship starting at a 3.7 GPA. Um, like I said, we are located in Marshall, Texas. We're a very small town, very close knit college town. We are right next door to ETBU. So you will constantly see students just like you walking around campus. Um, the schools that we offer here is business and technology, education, sciences and social sciences. Um, we have a lot of majors between each one. I think the total of 21 majors. Um, so please, if you guys are interested in anything, please uh, leave a question in the chat and I will let you know if we have that available for you. Uh, we are home of the acapella choir and the Melvin B. Tolson debate team. Our acapella choir is world renowned. Um, we have performed in Japan, China, the White House, um, and our debate team is world renowned as well. Um, there was actually a movie about it with Denzel and Nate Parker not too long ago. Um, but we were one of the first HBCUs not only to compete in debate tournaments, but also win the national title consistently. We still place national to this day. So if you guys are interested in those programs specifically, please let me know. Off to the right of this sheet, we also have the sports that we offer. Um, we offer basketball, baseball, track and field, and volleyball for students. We are in the NAIA division, um, so you can still get scholarships. Um, again, if you guys need any information, I can connect you with the coaches. We are a very small institution. Um, we hold about 500 to 1,000 students on campus right now. Um, we are virtual, but we are coming back in the fall. Um, so if you're looking for a very close-knit environment, please, please, please definitely consider Wiley. Um, these are how to apply instructions, pay your $25 application fee, official high school transcript, and also your ACT and SAT scores, which are not a requirement. They're just there for scholarship purposes. And if you guys have any questions for me, please contact me with the information on the screen. Um, I believe my time is up. Thank you guys for watching. Please contact me with the information. Thank you very much, Wiley College. Up next, we're going to move to Tennessee State University. All right, good morning and good afternoon to some. My name is Dominic Cooper, and I serve as an admissions recruiter here at the Tennessee State University, located in the land of golden sunshine, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my contact information is in the top left corner, so definitely screenshot this slide and feel free to reach out to myself after the presentation if you do have more questions. Tennessee State University, we were founded in 1912. We celebrate our founding date on Juneteenth actually, so that is very historical to minority students, to African-American students as well. Um, again, since 1912, we've been going out in the world and inspiring our faculty, staff, and alum to think, work, and serve. Uh, we do have over 40 undergraduate degree programs, with sitting on a 500 acre campus um, about 10 minutes from downtown Nashville. We have a second campus, is, which is where you'll matriculate. You know, if you decide to pursue a uh, master's level degree or a PhD level degree, you'll matriculate to our Avon Williams Graduate School. We do require a 2.5 cumulative GPA and we are test optional. So students, if you do have a 2.5, you can apply on tnstate.edu or you can apply on the Common Black College application which allows you to apply to not only TSU, but to all the um, other HBCUs as well. Again, we are test optional. If you do take the test, you can consider that for scholarships. Um, some of our scholarships start off, you know, with a 3.0 and a 19 S ACT and the SAT equivalent. So if you do take the test, make sure you send that over to us at admissions at tnstate.edu, and then we'll consider that for your scholarships. We have over eight residence halls. Um, we have two residence halls that will be brand new when you get here. So for my juniors, they will be finished with construction in the fall of 22 when you all arrive. We do not require you to stay on campus though. So we highly recommend it, um, but we do not require it. Uh, we do allow freshmen to bring vehicles in their freshman year, and we do not have Friday classes as well. So whatever program you decide to study, you'll only be in class Monday through Thursday. Fridays will allow you time to study. We have over 100 student organizations ranging from a Divine Nine Greek Row 
Um, each Greek organization has their own pillar on the D9 Greek growth. We have Civic and Political, SGA, which is home to Mr. and Mrs. TSU, Mr. and Mrs. Freshman, um, many other things, you know, debate teams, choirs, our aristocratic bands, AOB.com. If you visit the link, you'll be able to view the virtual audition information. AOB um, is worldwide known. We have the best HBCU band in the land. We got to perform for President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama live on the White House line. Um, we will be going back to the Rose Parade in, uh, next year, I believe January. So we are worldwide known. Again, if you want virtual audition information, definitely visit aristocratabands.com. We are a medium to large size HBCU. We have about 8,000 students with a 16 to one student to faculty ratio. So what that means for you is that you can study in some of our, again, 40 undergraduate degree programs range from engineering to a four-year nursing degree um, to education, political science. For my pre-med and pre-dentistry students, we do have a partnership which grants you admission and a full ride directly to TSU and Meharry Medical College straight out of high school. This program is the Dr. Levi Watkins Scholarship Program. So again, if you are interested in getting a full ride to medical school or dental school, definitely look up the Dr. Levi Watkins Scholarship Cohort. Um, we do have computer labs in every academic building on campus, and we do compete on the D1 level. So if you are looking to be a D1 athlete, TSU is where you want to be. Uh, recently, we named Eddie George, Hall of Fame, Tennessee Titans running back, as our head football coach. Um, we recently gained a top recruit in our basketball program, Hersey Miller, who is Percy Miller's son, um, better known as Masterpiece. So if you are looking to be a top scale athlete, TSUtigers.com is where you want to go. You can get all the virtual recruitment information. Um, and we, you know, again, we've been producing Olympians such as Wilma Rudolph, who got to run in the 1956 and 1960 women's Olympic uh, Tiger Bell track team. So if you're looking to be a D1 athlete, visit TSUtigers.com. We do accept scholarships. Uh, we do give scholarships and we do accept them from third party sources as well. So the United Negro College Fund, Third Good Marshall, FastWeb, um, any other outside scholarships that you apply to, you'll be able to get that information. We do have a virtual tour that you can visit. I'm gonna place that in the chat section as well. Um, and if you all have any other questions, comments, or concerns, definitely utilize the calendar link above, reach out to me on Instagram, and we can welcome you to the land of gold and sunshine. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Tennessee State. Uh, before we move on to our final presentation, just a, a note for all of our attendees. After our final presentation, <clears throat> we're not going to have much time left. Don't worry if all your questions don't get answered. All the reps will get a, a transcript of every question asked and can respond to you later if necessary. But keep those questions coming. I'm sure people are happy to continue answering them. Our final presentation is going to be from Western Illinois University. Thank you so much, Christopher. Good afternoon. My name is Keita Edwards. I am joined by my esteemed colleague, Audrey Barrientos, who is monitoring the chat. So feel free at any point in time to ask questions. She will make sure she gets to those for you. I'll go ahead and start. I'm an alum of Western Illinois University, as well as a regional counselor. We do have two campuses. I'll throw out a few fast facts first. We have an average class size of about 18. So similar to a few of the other colleges and universities, we're a nice mid-sized school with a total enrollment of about 7,600 students. We offer over 60 different programs for you to study in. We have a student to faculty ratio of 13 to 1, and 96% of our students are taught by full time faculty. So these are a picture of our two campuses. Our main campus is located at the bottom of this page. It's our Macomb campus, that's our residential campus. We have a campus that is located in the Quad Cities area, and that's a non-residential, non-traditional student campus. We do have easy access from Chicago to campus. When I was going to um, Western, I would catch the train right by the Union Station, get, about, get there in about four hours, and it drops you off about two blocks away from campus. So really easy commute. If you have a vehicle as a freshman, you can also have it on campus. 
Um, again, we have over 60 different programs for you to study, but our signature programs are listed here. We are actually known mostly in the state for our law enforcement and justice administration program. We have the number one program in the state and we're about third or fourth in the nation. Um, we also have a very signature accountancy program, agriculture, biology. We have a really robust engineering program, forensic chemistry. We also have a forensic lab on campus for you to be able to interact with as well as our musical theater, nursing, and our RPTA, known as our recreation park and tourism administration program. Sports broadcasting is really big as well because we are a D1 school and then we also are really known for our supply chain management and then our teacher education program. Um, a little bit of our criteria, um, our application process um, has been streamlined. We have decided to become test optional. Um, and so if you don't have the ACT or you don't plan on taking the ACT or SAT, um, you don't need that to be admitted to WIU. If you have over a 2.75 GPA on a 4.0 scale, you will automatically be admitted. If you have in between a 2.0 and a 2.74, we will probably request additional information like a personal statement, recommendation letter, or just a conversation with you to get more information, um, but you still have opportunity to be admitted into our institution. Um, we offer a lot of different scholarships, so this is just listing a few. Um, Western Commitment Scholarship is based off of your GPA. If you look on the right-hand side in the little yellow square box, you'll be able to see kind of how we align our GPA with those Western Commitment Scholarships, and you will receive that all four years. We also have location-based scholarships, so just because you are from the Chicagoland area, that's an automatic $1,000 scholarship for you. We have a $1,000 Leatherneck Visit Scholarship. You can either get that by visiting us in person or visiting with us virtually, and then we have a $1,500 alumni legacy scholarship. So if you have a parent or grandparent who attended and graduated from Western, you will automatically get those funds. You can see at the bottom, we have our tuition and fees of about $21,500 on average. And on average, our financial aid package that is going out is over $17,000. And so you're really paying very little. I actually had a student um, contact me and he was concerned that his award letter was wrong because he wasn't paying anything. We just had the conversation. Um, he thought it was too good to be true. Um, but that's the case is that we are one of the most affordable state schools that you will find. These are a few of our campus resources. First year advising, all of these will come with your tuition. You don't have to pay for any of that. You have your first year experience, which is an entire experience for our freshmen. Um, we have free tutoring, writing center, counseling center, disability resources, our student development and success center, as well as our career preparation center, right? And so these are um, resources that we encourage you to utilize all four years um, because they will help you after you graduate as well. Um, again, we are a D1 school, so you will see our sports listed there um, that compete and they are a lot of fun. We have a lot of school spirit. We also have sports clubs. If you're like, I don't want to play on that like professional level yet, we have a list of sports clubs where you can also get scholarships for playing with either one of those and they still compete against other schools. And then we also have intramurals that compete against other Western students that you can be a part of. And this is just a little bit of involvement, right? Um, as a student, I was highly involved. We have our Multicultural Center, also known as the MCC, and it houses our Casa Latina, our LGBTQA Plus Center, our Women's Center, and our Gwendolyn Brooks Cultural Center. Each of those centers, within those centers, put on a lot of programs. Um, and then outside of that, we also have academic organizations. We have fine arts organizations for you to be a part of, Greek life, leadership, and then volunteer and service programs. So you can see a list of those there as well. Um, if you want to continue to contact us, you can um, follow us on our social media. It's at WIU Ambassadors and then at WIU Admission. Um, I also have my own personal admissions Instagram. So if you want to follow me at Kita underscore WIU, um, you can see what it's like um, being a student because we give our students the phone. We let them take it over and you get to see what it's like in the life of a student um, on campus throughout the day. And again, if you have any questions about our admissions process, you can send us um, an email at admissions at WIU.edu. And then I also have my contact information here if you want to send a text i know a lot of my students love to text um, more than email and so you can just shoot me a text again audrey barrientos is here in the chat i think she's currently answering your questions my name is Keita edwards and then we also have our colleague kate ramaji and she's also in the chicagoland area so one of the three of us will be your counselors and we would love to work with you thank you thank you very much western illinois uh, and thank you again to all of our panelists. It's tough uh, giving an overview of your school in six minutes, but I, I think everybody got a lot out of these presentations. Uh, to all of our attendees, uh, we're gonna be wrapping up in about two minutes. 
Uh, you can keep your questions coming. Uh, the reps will be there answering away. Again, just a reminder, um, they will get a transcript of all questions asked and can follow up with you um, after these presentations. Um, but again, we want to thank all of our, our panelists for joining us and certainly we want to thank all of our attendees. This was a great group today uh, with a lot of good questions coming in through the Q&A. Uh, continue those conversations with all these admission officers uh, to learn more about their schools, their programs, financial aid opportunities, etc. Um, before we do close this session, just a few quick housekeeping items to go over. Uh, the first is that when you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you complete. Again, there are two other blocks of sessions today. So if you haven't signed up for those yet, please do so. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on the strivescan.com backslash noble website. Uh, but that does do it for us today. Uh, thank you again, panelists, if you want to turn your videos back on for a second. Uh, we can all say goodbye to all of our attendees. Um, have a great day and good luck in your college search.